instructions for filling OMR application. Detailed instruction for filling OMR application. The application form is on optical machine readable OMR format. That means a special machine reads only the dark bubbles that you make on the OMR sheet. Therefore, do not scribble, smudge, cut, tear or wrinkle the application form. Do not put any stray pencil marks anywhere on the application form. Do not write or place any mark over the barcodes to get you to full form correctly. We suggest the following. Take a photocopy of both sides of the blank OMR sheet and try to fill them. After making sure that the entires in this form are correct, you can start filling in the original OMR and bubble the corresponding entries in the sheet so that you may avoid errors while filling it. You should only send the filled original OMR form and not this photocopy from to as. While filling the OMR form, first enter the data in block ballpoint pen. Avoid gel ink filled pen as it might smudge the form in the boxes provided above each coding area and then bubble with HP pencil. The corresponding letter in each column below each box for the machine to read. A sample filled OMR application form is given in Appendix 9 for showing how the application form appears after bubbling correctly. If there is a discrepancy between the written data and bubbled data in your application, the bubbled data will be taken as final. If by mistake you darknet a wrong bubble and wish to change it, erase the darknet bubble completely using a pencil eraser and then darken the correct bubble. Do not use any whitener to erase a darknet bubble. Your application must be complete in all respects. You should fill all the fields. Incomplete applications and applications filled in a language other than English will be similarly rejected. Step by step instruction to fill the OMR application form are given below. 1. Name of the candidate. Write your name in capital letters as given your 10th class certificate are equivalent. Write each single letter in each of the box one by one. Leave only one blank box between consecutive words of your name. Do not use any dots in between initials. If your name has several initials, leave one black after each of them. Darken the appropriate alphabet bubble underneath each letter of your name. If your name requires more than 34 boxes, darken the bubbled mark plus in the 35th column of the top first row. 2. Category The codes for different categories are as follows. Category General Code GE Category Scheduled Cached Code SC Category Scheduled Tribe Code S3 Category other backward class non creamy lawyer code OBC within bracket NCL category other backward classes within bracket creamy lawyer code OBC within bracket CL write your category code with the ballpoint pen in the space provided dark and the appropriate bubble against the category you belong to 3 gender dark and the appropriate bubble 4 nationality if you are an Indian citizen living in India, the dark and the bubble against Indian. If you hold a foreign passport or hold either person of Indian origin within bracket BIO or overseas citizens of India OCI, status then dark and the bubble against foreign. 5. Year of passing QE 10 plus 2 or equivalent and required minimum marks. If you are appearing for 10 Plus two are an equal qualifying examination for the first time in 2010. You should darken the bubble appearing in 2010. You need not darken any other bubble below. In this item, if you have passed 10 plus two are equal in qualifying examination for the first time in 2009 or after October 1, 2008, you should darken the bubble corresponding to passed in 2009. If you have passed 10 plus 2 or an equal and qualifying examination for the first time earlier than October 1, 2008, you should darken the bubble corresponding to passed earlier than 1st October 2008. If you have obtained the minimum required marks 60% for GE, OBC, TS or 55% for SC, STTW in the first attempt itself, 
no need to target any pebble below in this item. If you have obtained the minimum required mark 60% for GE, OBC, DS or 55% for SC, ST, PWE. By attempting an improvement examination, dark pebble corresponding to the year of the improvement examination. 6. This attempted JE and year of first attempt. If you are writing JE for the first time, darken the bubble corresponding to first. If it is your second attempt bubble, second. In this case, also darken the appropriate bubble corresponding to the year of your first attempt at JE. 7. Subcategory and type of disability. If you have any physical disability, then darken the bubble against PD. If you belong to the DS category, then darken the bubble mark DS, else bubble none. If you have darkened the bubble against PD and the type of disability is related to poor eyesight with more than 40% disability, then dark the bubble against poor eyesight. In case of all other physical disabilities, darken the bubble corresponding to others. If you have poor eyesight and require a question paper with enlarged font, then you must send a request letter in the format given in Appendix 10 along with the application form. 8. Date of birth. Enter the date, month and year of your birth as per the English calendar and as record in your 10th class or equivalent certificate. Use numerals 01 to 31 for date 01 to 12 corresponding to January to December for month and the last two digits of the year of birth. The digits 19 is already there. For example, if you were born on 6 March 1992, then the date should be entered as follows 060392. Darken the appropriate bubbles for the date, month and year in each column. 9. Pin code of permanent place of resistance. Write the pin code of your permanent place of resistance in the space provided. Darken the bubble corresponding to the appropriate numeral underneath each digit. 10. Choice of examination cities. Appendix 4 gives the list of the cities, towns and their corresponding codes where the examination centers are located. Select two different city codes, both from the same zone. Your first preference must be entered under choice 1 and the second under choice 2. Then darken the bubble corresponding to the appropriate numeral code in each column. Level Choice of counseling center. If you belong to GE category, skip this. If you belong to SC, ST, OBC, PD or TS category or holding a foreign passport, then darken the bubble corresponding to the institutes where you want to consult. 12. Candidate's name and complete mailing address. Write the complete postal address to which any communication is to be sent from December 2009 to July 2010. The address must include your name, phone number, CO name if required and other details including the PIN code. Indicate mobile number or landline number with the STD codes and email address. Please note this block will be machine scanned and therefore it should be written very clearly in capital letters using a block ballpoint pen only. Email address may contain small block letters. Your address must not overflow this box. Do not give an address of your school or college or any other institute here. 13. Photograph. Your photograph in color should be taken with white background preferably wearing dark colored clothes. The approximate size of the photograph should be 3.5 cm and 4.5 cm taken not earlier than 2 months. Please write your name and application number on the reverse side of the photograph. This will help matching your photograph with your application form in case it gets detached from the form during processing. Paste the photograph. Use good quality cum, not glue stick or steeper. In the box provided, do not sign on photograph and do not get in attested. Keep two more copies of the photograph with you for future use. 14. Signature of the candidate. 
put your usual signature in cloth ballpoint pen within the box provided. Your signature must not overflow or touch the border of the box provided. Your signature establishes your identify. Hence, do not merely write your name in capital letters. This may lead to rejections of your application. 15. Name of one parent or guardian. Write the name of your father or mother or guardian as maintained in your 10th class or equivalent certificate. Write the name of your father or mother or guardian even if no such name is maintained in the 10th class certificate. Write a single letter in each box. Leave only one blank box between consecutive words of the name. Do not write dots after initials. Leave your blank box. Even if the name has several initials, leave one blank after each of them. Darken the bubble corresponding to the appropriate letter underneath each letter of the name. If the name of the parent or guardian requires more than 34 boxes, darken the bubble mark plus in the 35th column of first row. 16. Relationships of the person at section number 15 with the candidate. Indicate your relationship with the parent or guardian name at section number 15 by darkening the appropriate bubble. Section number 17. Place of 10th class schooling. Darken the appropriate bubble. Section number 18. Question paper language. During the examination question papers can be provided either in English or Hindi according to the candidate's choice. If you wish to obtain the question paper in Hindi, darken the bubble corresponding to Hindi. Otherwise, darken the bubble against English. This choice earns exercise cannot be changed at any later stage. If no option is exercised, question paper in English language only will be provided. Section number 19. Type of preparation. If you are preparing for JE 2010 on your own, dark the bubble against self, else dark other. This information is used only for past examination statistics. Section number 20. Board of Qualifying Examination. Dark and the appropriate bubble. Section number 21. Cell number or phone number with STD code. Write the cell number or landline number with STD code in the box provided through which you can be contacted or a message can be sent to you. Darken the bubbles corresponding to appropriate numerals below the cell or phone number. Section number 22. Mother thank you. Choose and write the code corresponding to your mother thank you from the table below. Darken the appropriate bubbles for the code. Assamese 01, Bengali 02, English 03, Gujarati 04, Hindi 05, Kannada 06, Kashmiri 07, Malayalam 08, Marathi 09, Oriya 10, Punjabi 11, Sanskrit 12, Sindhi 13, Tamil 14, Telugu 15, Urdu 16, others 17. Section number 23. Year of passing 10th class. Write the year of passing your 10th class are equal in examination and dark on the bubbles corresponding to the appropriate numerals. Section number 24. Occupation of parent or guardian. Dark on the appropriate bubble corresponding to occupation or service of your parent or guardian. Section number 25. Parents' educational background. Dark on the appropriate bubble. Section number 26. Total annual income of parents or guardian. The annual income should be as on March 31, 2009. In case both parents are employed, the combined annual income is to be indicated. Dark and the appropriate bubble. Section number 27. Declaration by the candidate. The candidate must sign the declaration. The place and date should also be entered. The two signatures, the one below this declaration and the other in the box below your photograph, section number 14, should be identical. Applications without signatures or with dissimilar signatures at the two places will be treated as incompleted and rejected. The declaration by the candidate must be consideration by parent or guardian. Write the name of parent or guardian in the space provided. 8. 
other information related to OMR application form. You must take your photocopy of this field in form duly, sign it with photograph etc. and keep it safely with you till the admission procedure is complete. You must also make a note of your application number separately. You have to quiet your application number in all future respondents. 1. The checklist of items to be sent to IIT JE officers in different zones. 1. Completed original OMR application form with the photo and signatures. Duly attested photocopy of your 10th class and equivalent examination post certificate where your date of birth is mentioned clearly. In case the post certificate is not available, enclose your admit card and mark sheet of 10th class examination. In case the 10th class certificate does not mention your date of birth, enclose a copy of an antiquated document mentioning date of birth. Attested copies of category, subcategory certificates if applicable. Case to certificate in the format as given in the information procedure. See Appendix 2 for SC ST candidates. Certificates in any other format will not be accepted. If you belong to DS category, enclose a copy for the relevant certificate issued by a competent authority and the Director of Resettlement and Digitalization, New Delhi, under the Ministry of Defense, Government of India, or in the Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India, as applicable. Write your application number in copies of all certificates that you enclose. The institute copy of the blank chalan if applicable. 2. Procedure to put the forms in the envelope. Write all relevant information on the envelope carefully. Duly completed OMR application form should be folded only along the original fold. Show in the middle by a total line. Make sure that your photograph, your signature and barcode must be on outside of the fold. Do not staple or paste together the application form and attested copies of certificates. Keep the photocopies of certificates on the linear side of the folder OMR form. While putting the enclosures into the envelope, make sure the barcode and the application number and the OMR form are visible through the window of the envelope. This will help us to scan barcode without opening the envelope as soon as it is received in our office for quick processing. 3. Where and how to send the completed application form? The envelope containing the completed OMR application form and enclosures should be sent to the IIT located in the zone where you wish to appear for the examination irrespective of the institute at which you want to seek admission. The contact addresses of the zonal IITs to which you should send your envelope with your application or given on the back cover of this procure. The envelope must be sent by register or speed post only. Do not send in through ordinary post or private counter services. Please keep the postal receipt for future reference. One can also submit in person the completed application form at any of the JE officers at the IITs. Application forms in IIT Delhi zone may be submitted in person at Union Bank of India, STA branch, House Cars, New Delhi 16. In IIT Madras zone, the completed application form can be submitted at the same branch of Indian Bank from where you have purchased in the form. 4. Last date for receipt for the completed application form. The last date for receipt of the completed offline application at the IITs. 5 pm on December 19, 2009. Any application received after this date will not be accepted. Offline of JE is not responsible for any postal delay or irregularity or loss during postal transit. 5. Proof of sending the completed application form. No acknowledgement call will be sent. No claim of submission of the application will be entered unless it is supported with the photocopies of the postal receipt and the filled OMR application form. No correspondence with record of the application, eligibility and admit code will be entered unless the application number is quieted. You can check the status of your application through our websites SMS IVRS. See Appendix 5 from January 1, 2010.